The casting process for the 1968 movie, The Love Bug, was a careful selection of talents to bring the story of a magical Volkswagen Beetle to life. Dean Jones, an experienced actor known for his comedic skills, was chosen for the lead role of Jim Douglas. The film required someone who could convincingly portray a down-on-his-luck race car driver, and Jones fit the bill. For the role of Tennessee Steinmetz, a free-spirited hippie and mechanic, the producers selected David Tomlinson. Tomlinson, already a Disney favorite for his role in Mary Poppins, was chosen for his ability to balance quirkiness with sincerity. The female lead, Carol Bennett, was played by Michelle Lee, a Broadway star making her film debut. She was chosen for her charm and singing voice as the character was required to sing the film's titular song. The Love Bug also featured a young buddy Hackett as the car dealer Peter Thorndike. Hackett's comedic timing and charisma made him a perfect fit for the role. The casting process involved auditions, chemistry tests, and read-throughs. The chemistry between Dean Jones and Michelle Lee was particularly important as their romantic subplot was central to the story. The film's director, Robert Stevenson, was looking for a spark between the two, which he found during their audition. David Tomlinson was a late addition to the cast, joining only after the original actor, Joe Flynn, had to drop out due to scheduling conflicts. Tomlinson's addition brought a new dynamic to the group, and his character's friendship with Jim Douglas became a heartwarming aspect of the film. In conclusion, the casting of The Love Bug was a careful process of selecting actors who could bring humor, charm, and chemistry to the story. Each actor brought their unique talents to the film, creating a memorable and entertaining movie. The Love Bug, released in 1968, was directed by Robert Stevenson, who brought his unique vision and style to the film. Known for his work in family-friendly films, Stevenson approached The Love Bug with a light-hearted and whimsical style. He was influenced by the popular car culture of the time and aimed to create a film that would appeal to both children and adults. Stevenson's collaborative approach was key to the film's success. He worked closely with the cast and crew, creating a positive and productive working environment. He encouraged improvisation and creativity, which helped to bring the characters and story to life. One of the most notable aspects of The Love Bug is the use of visual effects. Stevenson worked closely with the film's special effects team to create the illusion of Ascension Car, Herbie. This required a great deal of innovation and creativity as computer-generated imagery was not yet available. The team used a variety of techniques, including remote control cars and camera tricks, to create the illusion. Stevenson's direction also brought out strong performances from the cast. Dean Jones, who played the lead role of Jim Douglas, later credited Stevenson with helping him to develop his character and bring depth to his performance. The supporting cast, including David Tomlinson and Michelle Lee, also delivered memorable performances, thanks in part to Stevenson's guidance. Overall, Stevenson's directorial vision for The Love Bug was marked by his lighthearted style, collaborative approach, and innovative use of visual effects. His work on the film helped to create a beloved classic that continues to delight audiences today. The Love Bug, released in 1968, is a delightful film that tells the story of Herbie, a car with a mind of its own. This movie brings a mix of laughter, surprises, and touching moments that have captured the hearts of many. One fascinating fact about this film is that the car, Herbie, was named after a ski race in the Winter Olympics that year. Another interesting point is that the noises Herbie makes were voiced by a human, adding a personal touch to the character. As for personal stories, while I don't have personal experiences, many viewers have found inspiration in Herbie's determination and resourcefulness, reminding us that even the most ordinary things can be extraordinary. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the love bug? Your stories and memories are important to us, so please share them in the comments below. We're looking forward to reading about the joy this classic film has brought into your life. The Love Bug, a 1968 film produced by Walt Disney, presented unique challenges in set design, location, and logistics. Set design was critical to creating the bustling streets of San Francisco and the serene countryside of California. The production team meticulously crafted detailed sets, including a replica of the famous Lombard Street, to provide an authentic backdrop for the film's racing scenes. Locations were carefully selected to capture the essence of the story. 
The iconic scenes featuring the car, Herbie, navigating the winding roads of San Francisco were filmed on location, adding to the film's realism. Logistical challenges abounded, particularly in filming the high-speed car chase scenes. The production team had to ensure the safety of the cast and crew while capturing the thrilling action. They employed innovative techniques, such as using remote-controlled cars and camera rigs to achieve the desired effects. One notable innovation was the use of a gyroscopically stabilized camera platform, which allowed for smooth, steady shots even during high-speed chases. This technology, rarely used at the time, significantly enhanced the film's production value. Despite these challenges, the production team successfully created a captivating film that resonates with audiences to this day. The Love Bug stands as a testament to the ingenuity and dedication of the filmmakers, leaving a mark in the annals of film history. In 1989, I saw The Love Bug for the first time when I was eight years old, and I enjoyed it greatly. I watch the tape film regularly, and even now, at 25, I still like it. This movie stands out to me because it's one of the few things I liked as a child that I still enjoy today. Unlike most Disney films, which I found more appealing as a kid, The Love Bug has a charm that works for both children and adults. The movie, directed by Robert Stevenson, follows down on his luck racing car driver Jim Douglas, played by Dean Jones, and his friend Tennessee Steinmetz, a quirky mechanic portrayed by Buddy Hackett. They live together in an old firehouse and come across a peculiar car, a VW Beetle with a mind of its own. Jim believes the car was planted by the sly car dealer, Peter Thorndike, played by David Tomlinson, but eventually learns that the car, named Herbie, is alive. With the help of Carol Bennett, an assistant at the dealership, Jim and Herbie start racing and become champions. The Love Bug offers a mix of comedy and racing action that the whole family can enjoy. While Herbie may not have as much personality as in the remake, Tomlinson's portrayal of the villainous Thorndike is entertaining, reminiscent of a live-action Dick Dastardly. The film also features Joe Flynn as Habershaw, Benson Fong as Mr. Wu, Andy Granatelli as the association president, and Joe E. Ross as detective. The Love Bug was a success upon its release, ranking number 94 on the 100 Greatest Family Films list. It's a simple, fun movie that has stood the test of time, providing entertainment for multiple generations. If you're looking for a light-hearted film to watch with your family, The Love Bug is a great choice. The Love Bug score and soundtrack, composed by George Bruns, significantly contribute to the film's charm and success. Bruns skillfully crafted music that complements the narrative and emotional tone of this classic 1968 movie. Bruns, a seasoned composer, had previously worked on Disney films like Sleeping Beauty and 101 Dalmatians. For The Love Bug, he created a catchy, upbeat score filled with memorable tunes. The main title theme, The Love Bug, is a jazzy, light-hearted piece that sets the tone for the entire film. The score also includes a variety of other musical styles from romantic waltzes to frantic chase music. These shifts in tone help to heighten the film's emotional moments and add excitement to its action sequences. In addition to the score, The Love Bug features several popular songs from the late 1960s. These songs, including Give Peace a Chance by the Plastic Ono Band and The Age of Aquarius by The Fifth Dimension, help to establish the film's setting and add to its overall cultural significance. Interestingly, Bruns used unconventional instruments in the score, such as a whistling tea kettle and a bicycle bell, to create unique sounds that add to the film's playful, light-hearted atmosphere. Overall, the music in The Love Bug is an essential part of the film's appeal. It enhances the narrative and emotional tone, making it a beloved classic for audiences of all ages. Chuck Mahoney, who played a significant role in The Love Bug, began his acting career featuring in several shorts by The Three Stooges. His skills as a stuntman allowed him to excel in the physical demands of a Stooges co-star, often portraying an endearing but clumsy bumbler. In The Love Bug, race scenes were filmed at the Riverside International Raceway, which hosted numerous important races for NASCAR and other sanctioning bodies from 1957 to 1989. After its demolition for the Moreno Valley Mall and housing developments, the track's rich history faded away. The DVD release of The Love Bug includes the 1952 cartoon Susie, The Little Blue Coop, which also features a sentient car as its protagonist. This edition offers viewers a chance to enjoy another classic story centered around a car with a personality. 
One of the most iconic scenes in The Love Bug is the first race at Santa Ana Air Base. The direction by Robert Stevenson is impressive with the use of wide shots to capture the scope of the race and close-ups to show the expressions of the drivers. The performance of Dean Jones, who plays Jim Douglas, is noteworthy as he conveys the excitement and tension of the race. The cinematography is also remarkable, with the use of tracking shots to follow the cars and give the audience a sense of speed. This scene establishes the main conflict of the film and sets the stage for the rest of the story. Another iconic scene is the final race in San Francisco. The direction, performance, and cinematography all come together to create a thrilling and memorable sequence. The use of the city's landmarks, such as the Golden Gate Bridge and Lombard Street, adds to the excitement and gives the scene a unique sense of place. The performance of Jones is again noteworthy as he conveys the desperation and determination of his character to win the race. The cinematography is also impressive, with the use of low-angle shots to emphasize the height of the hills and the danger of the race. The filmmakers and actors were aware of the impact these scenes would have on the audience. Stevenson, in an interview, stated that he wanted the races to be exciting and visually interesting, and that he achieved this by using a variety of camera angles and techniques. Jones, in an interview, stated that he enjoyed filming the race scenes and that he found them to be a lot of fun. He also stated that the use of real cars and stunts added to the excitement and realism of the scenes. Overall, these iconic scenes from The Love Bug are memorable for their direction, performance, and cinematography. They establish the main conflict of the film and provide thrilling and exciting moments for the audience. The filmmakers and actors were aware of the impact these scenes would have and worked to make them as visually interesting and exciting as possible. In the 1968 film The Love Bug, a luxurious 1955 role's Roy Silver Wraith, owned by character Thorndike, plays a significant role. The car is outperformed by a quirky, sentient Volkswagen Beetle named Herbie, leading to a series of amusing and exciting events. Buddy Hackett, who played Tennessee Steinmetz in The Love Bug, shared his regret in the 23 DVD commentary that he didn't continue the role in the sequels. His portrayal of the character left a lasting impression on audiences, making his absence in later films a missed opportunity. David Tomlinson, who played Peter Thorndike in The Love Bug, was discovered by Walt Disney himself. Disney saw Tomlinson in a play called The Ring of Truth at the Savoy Theatre in London in 1959, and four years later, he invited Tomlinson to play Mr. Banks and Mary Poppins. This connection between two classic Disney films highlights the studio's commitment to discovering and working with talented actors. The Love Bug, a 1968 movie, had a significant cultural and social impact. It was a major success, resonating with audiences through its unique blend of comedy, romance, and racing. The film's protagonist, a sentient Volkswagen Beetle named Herbie, became an iconic symbol in pop culture. Herbie's character touched people's hearts as he embodied the underdog spirit, overcoming obstacles, and winning races. This reflected a universal desire for success against the odds, striking a chord with viewers. The film's lighthearted tone and lovable character provided a welcome escape from the serious issues and turmoil of the late 1960s. The love bug also influenced the automotive industry. After the film's release, Volkswagen Beetle sales skyrocketed, with many people drawn to the car's charm and personality as portrayed in the movie. The car became an enduring symbol of the film and its popularity remains to this day. Moreover, the film contributed to discussions on relevant social themes. It challenged traditional gender roles as the female lead, Carol Bennett, played a strong and independent character, a rarity in films of that era. The love bug can be seen as a small but meaningful step towards more progressive representations of women in media. In summary, the love bug resonated with audiences, influenced pop culture, and subtly addressed social issues. Its impact can still be felt today, as Herbie remains a beloved character, and the Volkswagen Beetle remains an iconic car. The film's success and cultural significance are a testament to its enduring appeal. The Irish coffee scene in The Love Bug features the whiskey brand O'Gills, possibly referencing Disney's Darby O'Gill and The Little People. Actor Buddy Hackett was offered a weekly salary to replace Curly Howard of the Three Stooges, but turned it down. The validity of this story is questionable, as Curly's brother Shemp replaced him in the Stooges Act. 
Dean Jones attributes the film's success to being one of the last live-action films personally approved by Walt Disney before his passing. The Love Bug, a 1968 comedy film produced by Walt Disney, received mixed reviews from critics but was a major success with audiences. The film's light-hearted storyline and unique premise, which centered around a sentient Volkswagen Beetle named Herbie, helped it become one of the highest grossing films of the year. Critics praised The Love Bug for its charm and humor, with Variety calling it a delightful comedy filled with chuckles and laughs. However, others, such as The New York Times, were more critical, dismissing the film as a long, tedious exercise in motion picture stuntmanship. Despite the mixed critical reception, The Love Bug was a hit with audiences and went on to receive several award nominations. The film was nominated for two Academy Awards, including Best Sound and Best Visual Effects. It also won several other awards, including a Golden Screen Award and a Laurel Award for Top Comedy. The accolades received by The Love Bug were significant for those involved in the film, as they helped to solidify its status as a classic of the genre. The film's success also helped to boost the careers of its stars, including Dean Jones, Michelle Lee, and cemented the legacy of its director, Robert Stevenson. The Love Bug remains a beloved film to this day, and its impact can still be felt in popular culture, with several sequels in a television series produced in the years following its release. Stuntman Dale Van Sickle experienced a tragic accident while working on the Disney film No Deposit, No Return in 1976. An overapplication of oil for a stunt caused his car to go out of control, resulting in brain damage and a lifetime of invalidity. His family sued Walt Disney Productions following the incident. Larry J. Blake, an actor who occasionally played drunks, overcame a drinking problem in his career. He portrayed a member of Alcoholics Anonymous and I'll Cry Tomorrow. His few drunken roles were in Flamingo Road and The Werewolf. David Tomlinson, an actor in the fiendish plot of Dr. Fu Manchu, had a calming influence on his co-star Peter Sellers. Simon Williams, a colleague, noted that Peter only behaved when David was present on set. These facts highlight the risks stunt performers face, the challenges actors overcome, and the dynamics that can arise during film production. In the making of The Love Bug, Dean Jones, who played Jim Douglas, had an unusual co-star a car named Herbie. To create the illusion of Herbie's autonomy, a team of 20 puppeteers, mechanics, and engineers hid inside or under the car, controlling its movements with a complex system of wires, pulleys, and radio transmitters. David Tomlinson, who played Peter Thorndike, had a challenging time filming a scene where he had to dance with Herbie. The crew placed a small platform on the car's roof, and Tomlinson stood on it, holding onto a bar for support. However, the car's unpredictable movements made dancing difficult, and Tomlinson had to rely on his acting skills to convincingly portray a graceful dance. Buddy Hackett, who played Tennessee Steinmetz, bonded with Herbie Offset. He often talked to the car, gave it high fives, and even took it for a spin around the studio lot. Hackett's affection for Herbie was so genuine that it added an extra layer of warmth and humor to their on-screen relationship. Beyond the human-car interactions, the film's production faced several logistical challenges. The famous race sequence at the end of the movie required the use of multiple camera angles and careful editing to create the illusion of a single, continuous race. The crew also had to deal with the unpredictable Southern California weather, which often disrupted outdoor filming. Besides these anecdotes, the love bug also had a significant impact on popular culture. The film's success led to several sequels and a TV show, cementing Herbie's place as one of the most beloved movie cars of all time. The production of The Love Bug was a testament to the creativity, hard work, and collaboration of the cast and crew, resulting in a film that continues to captivate audiences today. Buddy Hackett, who played Tennessee Steinmetz in The Love Bug, had a notable career in the entertainment industry. His biography can be found in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, which highlights his contributions to film and television. Iris Adrian, another actor in the movie, had a background in radio and was a regular on The Abbott and Costello Show. The film also features a reference to the Haight-Ashbury district in San Francisco, which was known for its association with the hippie movement and hallucinogenic drug use during that time. One of the characters mentions that he has been on the Haight-Ashbury beat for too long, indicating the district's reputation. Overall, The Love Bug features a talented cast 
and includes cultural references that reflect the time period in which it was made. The Love Bug, a 1968 film, holds a significant place in film history due to its unique blend of comedy, romance, and racing, which was not common at the time. Its impact on future filmmaking is evident in the way it popularized the subgenre of cars as characters, leading to movies like Herbie Fully Loaded and Cars. The film's innovative special effects, such as the anthropomorphic behavior of the titular Volkswagen Beetle, also inspired similar techniques in later productions. The Love Bug inspired a series of sequels and spin-offs, demonstrating its enduring appeal. It has also been adapted into a television series and a stage musical, showcasing its versatility and adaptability across different media formats. The film's light-hearted approach to storytelling and its memorable characters have made it a beloved classic, cherished by audiences of all ages. Moreover, the film's influence extends beyond entertainment, as it has been used in automotive marketing and even in car design. For instance, the Volkswagen Beetle's popularity surged after the film's release, and the car became a cultural icon, in part due to its portrayal in The Love Bug. In summary, The Love Bug has left an indelible mark on film history, influencing future filmmaking and inspiring numerous adaptations and spin-offs. Its enduring charm and cultural impact continue to resonate, making it a timeless classic. The Love Bug, a 1968 movie, was a significant success, becoming the top grossing film in the US and Canada in 1969, according to Guinness, one of the actors, Buddy Hackett, was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1998 for his work in live theater. Co-star Michelle Lee met her first husband, James Ferentino, in a fascinating twist of fate. At the time, she was performing in the Broadway musical How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, while Ferentino was acting in the play The Night of the Iguana by Tennessee Williams at a theater just one block away. Their paths crossed, leading to their eventual marriage. The name of the beloved car in the 1968 film The Love Bug, Herbie, was inspired by a phrase from Buddy Hackett's comedy skit. The film marks the 61st live action production by Disney, and Hackett, whose real name is Lenny Hacker, used his real name for a character he played in Space Rangers. It's fascinating to note that elements from different works can inspire and be incorporated into other productions, adding depth and interest to the final product. Iris Adrian, an actress who appeared in The Love Bug, has a notable entry in the Marx Brothers Encyclopedia by Glenn Mitchell, published in 1996. Her character drove the iconic Volkswagen Beetle, Herbie, with the California license plate number OFP 857. The racing number 53 was prominently displayed on Herbie's front bonnet and both side doors. In one scene, Herbie enters and exits the California State Route 60, the Pomona Freeway in Los Angeles, via the on-ramp at Roscoe BLVD and California State Route 170. Notably, the first shot of Herbie getting back onto the on-ramp is at California State Route 60. During this sequence, Herbie becomes frightened and exhibits peculiar behavior, adding to the film's lighthearted and entertaining nature. Hey there, cinema fans. Ever seen the classic 1968 film, The Love Bug? It's a real blast from the past and we'd love to hear about your experiences and memories related to this iconic movie. Did you watch it back in the day and absolutely adore it? Or maybe you've recently discovered it and can't get enough of the charming antics of Herbie, the lovable VW Beetle with a mind of its own. No matter when or how you first encountered the love bug, it likely left an impression on you. Maybe it even inspired you to explore the world of cinema in new ways. We'd be thrilled if you'd share your thoughts and feelings with us and the rest of the community. So, don't be shy. Jump on in and let us know what the love bug means to you. And while you're at it, why not give this post a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more cinematic explorations. We can't wait to hear.